Can you take us through the opportunity to get Tyreek Hill? Like how involved you were in it, your level huh. of enthusiasm, yeah, what you imagined, what you imagined possible yeah. with a threat that yeah. is the most unique uh, in, in the NFL. I'll take I'll take you exactly through it. So I can't remember if it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was the weekend. And been grinding. It was like the first afternoon that I was going to get off work. And I was going to go see, you know, I have a, um, a two-year-old in October, um, daughter, uh, Ayla, and my wife, Katie. They're down here, and they're like um, at, the, at the W Hotel because um, we just got here. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, hey, honey, I'm going to come home probably three. And she's like, three? Awesome. Like totally geeked. <laughs> and then Chris walks in. He's like, hey. <laughs> so I just got a call from the Chiefs talking about Tyreek Hill. And I'm like, what? So I'm like, uh, this is why I'm not a GM. I'm like, tell them they can have everything. <laughs> you know? um, I do the same thing. But then once I, once I did that, I was like, wow, this is... That's pretty irresponsible. I better check the t- like because I'm watching, but like I, I'm of habit of like, all right, well, I need to watch. It's not like I was watching Tyreek, like the way that I evaluate free agents. You know, I thought he was untouchable, so I'm like, I better turn this stuff on. So then it was like three o'clock. Uh, mind you, I'm not in negotiations or anything. Um, you know, Chris is just, we're just communicating about. What is this dude worth? But you're whatever. telling him you want him badly. That Immediately. He that, like, so that he goes he back to the back whole team. He's on the phone. He can tell you that one gave up all three units. Uh, uh, and then, uh, so then I turn on the tape, and I start with last year, 2021. And I watched, um, it started with every target, and then it turned into every pass of that year. And then it turned into for the last three years. And turn the page, it's eight o'clock, my wife's ripping me, and I'm like, honey, hold on, let me get home, I'll explain. <laughs> but like, uh, and this was like my day off, it was a weekend of You some got sort. lost in five hours of Dude, of I was like, hypnotized. I couldn't stop, and then, then I was in too deep. Right. <laughs> well, between then three I became stressed, like, we have to have him. <laughs> you have to have him, right. Yeah. But between three and eight, was there any communication to the wife? Like, hey, sorry, I missed the No, time. that's the, <laughs> the biggest issue. Lost in it. No, you because I, I'm notorious it. for that, like, I am a present guy. Mm-hmm. The cost of that, uh, when you're present all the time, is there's no time for a phone. <laughs> so I don't respond. I don't check my phone, whatever. Especially when I'm getting floated Tyree Hill. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I just went into it. And, yeah. Let's just say that my wife was not pleased that I just went into a black cloud for whatever and then came out five hours later. It was like, hey. Um, but I smoothed it over when I kind of told her um, what I was doing. So fast forward to... It was a long, long couple days. It had to be a weekend or whatever. And, you know, every couple moments I'm checking, hey, what's going on? I get no news. Um, then there's like, hey, it's not looking good. Then it's looking great. So, you know, probably I think it might have been a Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember what day, but I'm sitting in my office. And, you know, there was a, there was a point in the process where it was like, all right, well, you might have to, um, you might have to kind of win Tyreek over and get him, to get him to accept, accept the trade or whatever. Um, There's a couple teams interested. I don't know. So I was getting my mind right to recruit, right? And I explained to him why this would be the best decision for us and him. <laughs> uh, and he, uh, so <laughs> I'm lost in probably some more Tyreek tape, sitting there just watching film and then um, Brandon Short comes in my office on the phone. I think um, Ann might be trailing. I don't know. But Chris Greer's at, at a pro day at Ohio State. And he's like, and he shows me the phone. Talk to him. And so then I get on the phone, and, I'm, and I just immediately go into recruit mode. Like, like hyperspeed. This is, you know, exactly, um, you know, your skill set. We can... Uh, we can feature this. This is something that um, you'd be paired with a with a guy that really feature your skill set. We can think we can do X, Y, or Z. And I'm going ham. This is all I got. 
I'm sh- shooting, shooting every shot that I have <laughs> deep into it. And like 20 seconds or 30 seconds into me just not giving an iota of time for him to speak, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, coach. I'm coming. It was already done. And I was just like, like you're I was like, what? Yeah, I was selling. I was like, what? And I just freaked out. I think I yelled. It was the only time I yelled in the office. It was, it was a cool time because it was like, uh, yeah, I just would have liked a little uh, forewarning before I just went straight recruit mode to close the deal. So Non-quarterback position, he is how high on the list of guys you would have wanted if you're talking about dream offense type stuff? No, I, 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 I quite honestly thought he was one of the untouchable guys that you couldn't get. Um, but then it's ironic you say that exact phrase because you're bringing me back to right when, before I have a time to digest that it's even going to happen, when he comes in and tells me that Tyree, you know, the Chiefs have talked to him, and I said, Chris, that's like one of the only non-quarterbacks that you do whatever it takes. Like, bar, you know? And so he, it was, I, that's exactly what I thought. I thought about that list and, okay, because you're in your mind you're thinking, okay, well, what is this going to take? Um, historical trade value, what people have gone for, you know, I was, or, I was immediately rattling off, okay, what well, back in, in the day when we had to get an unproven um, starting quarterback, what are that? That was two seconds um, with the Atlanta Falcons and Matt Schaub. Okay, well, uh, most re- I was going through all the trades and I'm like, yeah, this is one of those guys that's whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, historical precedent for a receiver match that. 